This video has been a long time coming, but it's time. After seven years of living in Japan, it's time for me to show you a house tour. Now currently I live in Fukuoka and it's very similar to that of Tokyo, just a lot smaller, but still has a lot of the daily vibrant life, has food stalls that many locations in Japan don't have, and it actually has a lot of really good food, but we're not talking about that today. Today I'm going to show you exactly what you can get with $600 here in a popular city in Japan. And I'm going to compare it right back to living in America. Is it good value? Bad value? Is it fun? And how did I decorate it? Let's go upstairs right now. Now I currently live in the city, so I have a city life, not a countryside life. So there's still a lot of activities going on. But when you live in the city, you do get places like this where you have a lot of protection. So you have to have a key to get inside. And then there's an elevator. So no dangerous individuals can really get in. I guess they could climb over fences, but that doesn't really happen in Japan. I do have an elevator though. So let's see my floor. Now right away you can see we have, uh, it's almost like a motel in America where we have ourselves situated outdoors. You can see all the doors outside here and we have ourselves a decent view. But let me remind you that I actually live in the city so you can see all the buildings around. This is the door on the outside, our intercom right there. And immediately we have, that's right, a Genkan. An area where you put your shoes because we don't wear shoes in the house. So here, you lay your shoes down right here. Now obviously the size is much smaller than what you expect in America. This is my door right now. Um, we have actually a pretty metal door so this we can stick here and hang things off of it. Pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before so really interesting. And I put my umbrellas inside if they're dry. But if we open this door, all my shoes and these shoes are here. So we have our shoe area. And if we close this, because I have a lot of shoes, I actually changed this into a shoe area as well. I think it's not necessarily made for shoes, but I made it for shoes by adding these white racks because I have quite a bit of shoes, basketball, running, etc. And then I also needed more space, so I put in a white rack here, white rack here, and put my gloves, umbrellas here, uh, more shoes at the top, like rock climbing, that type of thing. But it's very cozy, very small. I think this in America I would have had, I don't know, in a closet. So the fact that I could fit it all in this small area, pretty interesting, pretty uh, different. Now before we move on to the majority of this tour, please forgive me for the mess because we are moving which is why I'm doing this tour actually. But we just bought a place here in this city as well. So we're gonna be moving into a new house slash apartment. This is sort of our moving out tour. So anyways, there's gonna be a huge boxes everywhere. So apologies. Now, right next to the door, we have this door right here, which is uh, your bathroom. And it's a pretty simple bathroom. Standard bathroom only has the toilet area for our towels right here and then a toilet here, which as everyone loves to see, it's your Japanese toilet. So it has all the buttons here that you can utilize. And I do highly recommend you get a Japanese toilet. And if you live in Japan, you must get one with these buttons. Very helpful. If we exit our bathroom here, before we're going into the main room, we will go here into the laundry room. So this is my washer right here. Uh, the shower is right next to it right here. Hello, there's a mirror inside. Very small, compact, but it gets this job done essentially. So have the shower here, have a little rack inside there as well. And I hang my towel here, simple. Don't need to go into too much detail about that. Then we have the sink here. Nothing too different than what you have in America, but everything is a little more compact, a little more smaller. Now. We're gonna get to the good part. So this apartment is a 1LDK. 1LDK meaning one room, a living, dining, and kitchen. So I have apparently all that in this small area. So through this door, we get into what I like to call is the kitchen. It is a standard Japanese kitchen, has 
a stove. Actually, it's not gas, it's an electric stove. So that was nice. Didn't have to deal with a gas bill. Have this cool hot water meter actually right here. It gets super hot. But I have my water here. Uh, I like to have some cool cups. You can see some slime cups, which are fun to have. So it's very cluttered, sort of uh, a lot of stuff. But at the same time, it's very homey feeling. And I felt like the one issue I have with my place is I don't have a cutting board area. Literally, we have the stove, then we have the sink, and then we have no space. So I bought this cabinet here actually and had an extra top so that we could cut on top of here. Moving forward, we have a shelf because there is no pantry shelf. We have a lot of utensils here. We have a lot of condiments and more cups and then all our food at the bottom. It's very messy, we have a rice cooker. A big problem with living in Japan is you really have to find where you can stick everything. So as you can see, we don't really have an area to put the rice cooker. So we just put it here, we place it there. My uh, blender is literally on the floor. I have to blend my smoothies on the floor. So that's why we're also looking into getting a new place. But for the value, it's actually not that bad. And I have this microwave. Since they don't have an oven here, as you can see, there is no oven, but we do have a microwave here. It acts like an oven, but this is the size. So as you can see, baking, we could maybe bake like three, four cookies versus America where you could, you know, bake billions of cookies. I have two fridges. One I bought initially when I moved in, and then a friend gave me a secondary fridge. So as I got older, I needed more space but we're gonna get a new fridge when we move right now two fridges stocked with um probably nothing because we're moving so uh, a lot of drinks that i probably need to get rid of or try where do i have here oh 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 that one i need to try out for sure this is supposed to taste like kiwi normal fridge japanese products a lot of things i got on many of my trips and I've also placed a lot of my uh, workout gear or supplements up here, like this protein powder here. And we have uh, some BCAAs on the side. This is delicious, by the way. Pokemon stuff here. And then some hanging mouse holds. So yeah, crowded a little bit, but that's the kitchen area. You don't really do much in the kitchen, at least for me in my place. Most of my action is living room related now before we move on if you look up that light right there is right here this is apparently the dining area although i have definitely not utilized this area as dining it's supposed to be uh, but i decided to change it up because i wanted to have a youtube area and this is uh, apparently your living area we have this table which was a dining table that we decided to place in the corner in order to have a workstation or work area so ZZ works here, sits on this nice little yoga ball. It's a decent area, uh, but it's the only place we could really put a table. One of my favorite things about this apartment is the setup I have created here for video editing. Obviously, I make videos, so we have a camera, we have the light, we have a huge monitor here, secondary monitor here, Xbox in the corner, we in the other corner, there you go awesome keyboard here we got our mic here go xlr right there awesome pikachu longboard right here that I haven't opened until i move so if you want to see that board you got to go subscribe to the channel so you can see it in the next video and then i made this pc and it's been here for about five years now so cool colors love the aesthetics and then i just have my camera gear you know some pokemon cards that i need to open eventually and a lot of clutter that we need to pack up and make look uh, a little prettier than this but i love the these things right here these uh little stackable cabinets well drawers they're really cool this has athletic gear inside this has pokemon stuff and this is camera gear so kitchen dining youtube all next to each other and then if I keep going back, that's the living room. And the cool thing about the living room, the lights, which we're gonna have to get rid of because we do not have these connections in my new place. 
So that's a sad thing, but I really love them. I really thought they were really cool aesthetic for this location here. The TV, not the biggest fan, but still cool. And we have a bunch of models here, like this Fue Coco here, this Pikachu here, uh, these little characters from Hanjo, the Asian games, and a nice picture of my family, my mom, my dad, and myself and Zizi all in this frame. All my brothers in there too. And we have a bunch of Pikachus and I've boxed up a whole bunch of stuff that I guess I'm gonna have to do uh, a setup tour of my next new place. But yeah, and also my switch in the corner with a couple portraits that we have had done at uh, somewhere in Fukuoka. Well, another fun thing that I have here is these bean bags because I used to have a couch, but it's really comfortable to sit on these beanbag chairs and I have three of them, two of which were mine and one ZZ brought from hers so we have three of these beanbags but they're so comfortable. Like literally, check this out. Like literally you could just melt in them. Oh. And then I can't get up. But I absolutely love these beanbags but you can tell we need a bigger place because three beanbags in a small little living space like this is very difficult. And with all these boxes here, they cover up my cool basketball shoes. You can only see the Kyrie's right here, but a lot of Steph Curry's and I think a uh, Michael Jordan, a Jordan 34 is in there as well, but can't see them right now. You'll have to see them in my new place. Also, I brought this TV from America. So it's from 2008, still living to this day. PS4, no PS5 yet. The Xbox is over there, the Switch is here, but I have a Switch dock here if I ever wanted to play on this TV screen. Now that we have got the kitchen, the dining, the living out of the way, let's go to the bedroom, which happens to be behind this door right here. As you can see, it sort of separates. It's also sort of one room, as you saw. Let's back up. You can see that it's all one room, even the bedroom, which is not normal in America. But the thing is you can, and we usually do, you pull these and you can essentially have a wall to separate the two rooms. Boom. So now you can't see the bedroom. It's perfect. Well, sort of perfect. Boom. We have the bedroom. Very simple. It's just a bed. It's really all there's space for. And yoga mat. So we sort of have a workout session here and a bed here. And this uh, light, which is really cool because it doubles as a projector onto our screen. So we actually watch YouTube videos and workout videos right here. The other thing that Japan has is not a lot of closet space, but we have one and it's in here. And as you can see, we have so much clothes that we had to buy extra drawers underneath. And there's a lot of extra drawers. So it's a little crowded, but I mean, you, you, you do it what you can with what you're given, right? Now the final part of this tour for me to show you guys is my, one of my favorite parts actually, apart from, you know, the YouTube area right there. If we go out here, let's take a step outside and you can see this area here. Now the balcony is one of my favorite areas because, well, other than the fact my bike looks really cool, is because I made it so that I could just literally walk out here and work out on this little grass area. Put some fake grass here, some nice fake, uh, I guess, wooden plaques. They're not really wooden though, but they look it. And essentially, we come out here, can work out, can grab our little this was very, very important during COVID. I bought this and worked out. So an 18 kilogram kettlebell. Did a lot of workouts here. But yeah, really love how it came out. Beautiful look to it. You won't see this in many locations in Japan. Actually, I'm probably one of the few apartments that has this look. I'm gonna take it with me when I move. So essentially just pick it up, roll it out, and redo it at my next location. But love this area really peaceful especially with the the view and the sun set at times you can see the view right now is uh pretty dull and gray there's a park in the distance and then you got a bunch of buildings apartments and uh cars down below 
But we're pretty high up, so it's pretty fun to look down and basically enjoy your experience. In the summertime, I love to see the sunshine come through, the sunset colors, and just relax here on this balcony of green. Oh, of course, in Japan, we hang our clothes, so no dryer. Oh, also in Japan, it gets super humid, super hot. So this aircon is very, very helpful. I guess it gets really cold too. And it also is acts as a heater, but when it's super humid, very helpful. Also, there was a little shelf area inside where we, or myself, put all my Warriors bobbleheads. Jordan Poole looks the weirdest, but for some reason they're all turned backwards. But we got Curry, Durant, Clay, and Poole, Green, Iguodala, you name it have most of them. Cousins in the back, so yeah. And then a couple other things that I've got along my journeys here in Japan. But yeah, this is how I decided to decorate my current location. In the future, I will probably change and we'll have to do another video, uh, another house tour. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it interests you or gives you some semblance of an idea of what it's like living in Japan. A lot more crowded than I lived in America, but you know, the fun thing, it makes you realize that you don't need as much stuff as you had. Because in America, I used to have a two bedroom apartment, living room, huge kitchen, balcony that I never stepped foot on and you really don't use any of this stuff. But in Japan, it makes you become sort of minimalistic, but also sort of hoarderous. Like, everything goes up. You stack things up. So, like the kitchen, you can see so much stuff. That's what $600 gets you in the city. At some time in the future, we'll do a house tour of my new place. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Peace out.